Fraternities. First formed in the late 1700s, these organizations are now a major part of a lot of people's American college experience. Frat brothers buy houses on campus where they display their Greek letters, have social events, and raise money for charities. But frats are also criticized for the stereotypes of hazing new members, promoting a culture of toxic masculinity, and perhaps prioritizing their wild parties over the schoolwork that they're actually in college to do. I recently joined a fraternity at Syracuse University, one of the biggest party schools in America, and today I'm gonna pull back the curtain on these secretive organizations to reveal what truly goes on. I'm gonna show you a day in my life as someone who lives in the fraternity house, someone who runs a few small online businesses, and how that all fits into my hectic college schedule. I'm also gonna interview brothers of my fraternity, yeah. as well as non-Greek affiliated members of the Syracuse community, and hopefully share what the general perspective is on Greek life at this school. And then, hopefully by the end of the day, I'm gonna be able to go to a party and show you what the nightlife looks like at Syracuse. Without further ado, this is what it's like to live in a Greek fraternity house. It is Friday, just about my favorite day of the week because A, it's Friday, and B, I only have one class on Friday and it's at 11.40, so I got to sleep in. We had a fun night last night. Oh, oh my god. So I got a class to go to today. I got some work to do today. If we finish everything, we're gonna hopefully be able to go out tonight. Where's the cups? What's up? Good morning. Good. Good. How are you doing? What is this? Thing? And then... What's up, cool. I figure I'll show you my roof porch thing as well here. The theoretical aesthetic of drinking a cup of coffee on my porch. What's up? I'm gonna take you on a quick room tour here of my room in the frat house. There was a bunch of graffiti when I moved in and I painted over it, but then I almost as immediately got a bunch of Sharpies to make my own graffiti. So I'm kind of adding to that, but with the idea of making it kind of classy, I did a little bit of a drawing of our chapter house here. Another thing I did was add a working sink because there was a sink there and I figured might as well make it actually work. And then you see behind me my work set up there. I'm a video major here at Syracuse. My major is called television, radio, and film. And then my minor is entrepreneurship. Do you like Greek life? I don't particularly care for it. Just why you joined a fraternity sorority in the first place. Started with having good friends in this house. I wanted to meet more people. Yeah, I was always going to join Greek life. I knew my dad was in a fraternity and go close to his fraternity brothers. It was hard to like get out there and meet people in my building. I was a little shy or whatever. And I feel like coming here gave me instant like 50 guys who I know more about than I know about my parents or anything like that and it's amazing and I just wanted a place where I can come and just feel welcome. I was able to really throw my passions into creating kind of your chosen family. I was once a brother and now they trust me to be one of their leaders. And I just realized that I have class all the way across campus. <laughs> I'm so late. I'm two minutes late. I had a meeting with this team for this company I work with during the class, I need to quickly get back to the house and email the person in charge. I will be cooking my specialty today, frozen TV dinners, and I will also be cooking my specialty, the smoothie that I make almost every day. Got some avocado and some bread in here. We got this meeting in one minute here. I think most people would agree or assume that being in a frat is fun, but I would think that there would be mixed opinions about whether Greek life is beneficial to society or beneficial to the individual outside of just enjoying their time in college. So I wanted to hear people's opinions on whether they think being in Greek life is a positive or a negative in terms of your success after college. I think it's definitely net positive. 100% net positive. Definitely a net positive. Positive. It really depends on like, what type of field you're going into, right? Whoever's interviewing you, for example, like hates Greek life, mm -hmm. and they like could think negatively of you. Positive, most yeah. definitely a net positive. I definitely think it's a net positive. It all goes back to like the connections. Connections you're making over the four, your four years. Big networking opportunity. I'm hearing a lot about networking. A lot of networking and connections. It gets them so many connections, even their kids into stuff. Like, it's such a cool family because you can never really get rid of the Greek inside of you. My brother, for example, was in a fraternity and like he got his first job because he met someone 
who was in the same fraternity. Talking to other sororities and fraternities and really making those connections. So not even in my own house, but beyond that, you meet people and those connections can help in a multitude of ways. Give you confidence as a person. You learn all like the business skills. You learn how to deal with like all kinds of people, buttheads and makeup and make compromises. To be honest, I was a little bit surprised, but I was happy to see that most people saw fraternities as a benefit, even in your life after college. And even people that weren't part of Greek life themselves, they saw some kind of benefit to it. You have school, you have a lot of work, you have to get your work done in order to you know, have the fun that you want to have. Going off of that, on top of my schoolwork, I did have some work to do for one of my side businesses, and I had to finish it if I wanted to be able to go out later that night. And I'm shooting two 30 second videos. Usually I like to film these videos literally just with my iPhone, but I do want to get some more practice with this camera here. If this is something you're looking to do, I usually use my phone. I recorded two 30 second cutting board product videos, and then I also recorded three TikTok videos for a company that I work with. So I made $150 from the TikTok videos and $100 from the cutting board videos. I also make about $10 a day from YouTube. So in total, I made $260. I don't make this kind of money every day. It's a Friday, I have more time to do stuff like that. The way that frats and sororities work is that there's a bunch of people who join, they go through a rush process to decide the Greek house that fits them the best. For frats here at Syracuse, it tends to be like 50 to 100 people. And then for sororities, it tends to be somewhere around like 200 people. The sororities just tend to be a little bit bigger. But then there's also people that choose to live in the house. One of the benefits to that was privacy, which seems a little bit counterintuitive living in a frat house. Having a single room, with no roommates here was kind of appealing to me. And then the benefit is that when I'm done with my work for the day, when I wanna go socialize, there's always people around. I live in a house full of my friends, which is a really fun thing. And for me personally, it's also nice to have a kitchen. I like to cook for myself. It also saves me money. But in terms of the cons of actually living in a house, there's definitely drawbacks. I mean, it's loud sometimes. It's hard to fall asleep early on a weekend. And if you're someone that likes to kind of like stay in on the weekend, it's hard to stay in because there's always going to be people around that are trying to do something. So actually living in the house isn't for everyone, but I love it because it kind of gives me that balance between always having something going on, but also having the privacy of my own room. One thing fraternities and sororities do to give back to the community is to hold philanthropy events. So each house will do different things, like some of them will sell food, some of them will do sporting events monetize it in some way and it's a really fun way for different houses to get together even ones that don't necessarily always mix always talk to each other do it for a good cause and what we recently did for our philanthropy was a kickball tournament for the children's miracle network Now, although most people said being in a fraternity or a sorority was beneficial for you after college, I got a bit more of a mixed response when I asked people, including people in my own fraternity, whether they just liked the idea of Greek life overall. Do you like Greek life? Like, <laughs> like as a whole and what it represents, probably no. I think we're doing a great job changing it. Overall, I think it's good. I'm happy that I joined it. Yeah, I think there's benefits and downsides to it, um, but I think the benefits I saw the music and I was like, oh, that's cool. I'd like to be there. Yes, I love it. Creates like a bonding group of people that brings back donors. So it helps colleges an incredible amount. I, I'm more of a fan of sororities than fraternities, mm -hmm. but it creates a friend group that's incredible and, and worthwhile, I think. Yeah, it's great stuff. I enjoy Greek life. Yes, that, yes. I do a lot, yeah. I have a bunch of friends who are in Greek life. Like I don't have anything against it. Yes, I, I like it. It's pretty cool, yeah. I love Greek life. It's such a cool family that's like built within just like random college students if you think about it. And it's like such a cool like experience for everybody. Even people who aren't part of Greek life, like everybody just always has fun with like Greek life people. I don't particularly care for it. Um, however, I think it's a good opportunity for people who are maybe struggling to find friends. Something you could avoid if it's not really necessary. Given that some people had mixed reactions to the perception of fraternities, even my own fraternity brothers, I wanted to know what they thought should be changed. The reputation around it. The reputation. Interactions that need to occur just to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. I think those 
are a little outdated. The stigma behind it is like so old and outdated from like the 80s and 90s and like early 2000s. You can have fun and have a good time, but still be an upstanding gentleman. Education towards preventing sexual assault and specifically for, um, for men, because I feel like as women, we're already warned of that at a very young age. Old individuals in Greek life accountable. Inclusiveness, I guess. I feel like it's very like, culty in a sense. The status with it, like I feel like some Greeks have certain status and some don't. How certain like frat sororities are like, had that energy where they're better than other people or like other fraternities and sororities. Sometimes old ways are really good in their tradition, but they need to be reformed. You have to keep up with the times. As a gay man myself, you know, really hard to kind of break that stigma in my head about what a fraternity was and what it you know what it could potentially mean for my own safety or my own just general respect as a human and until i got into this house i was kind of scared but these boys showed me that change is possible and that there's so many respectful men out there that will love you and respect you no matter who you are and what you do and i think that needs to be changed overall and the last really important question I wanted to ask people before I take you to a party and we have a good time is about inclusivity. As much as I know my frat and a lot of other IFC fraternities try really hard to recruit people from different backgrounds. And I mean, we have a few gay guys, we have people of color, but we are primarily white. So I wanted to see people's perspectives on whether Greek life can exist in a way that's inclusive to people from different backgrounds. I think it, I think it does, but I think it can be more. Oh, 100%. There's like other organizations that are dedicated to uh, specific ethnicities or backgrounds, but I think we've done a good job recently of being inclusive to everyone. There's some really great people in Greek life. There's um, of all like races, sexualities are in here. We we don't scrutinize people for who they are. We accept them. I felt like I was in a house that wasn't that wasn't the case. I would not be here. Definitely. Um, I know there's a bunch of multicultural fraternities on campus. There's multicultural fraternity organizations and other stuff like that, which is definitely a step in the right direction. We're going in a step in the right direction in terms of diversity. At least on this campus, I feel like it's not as diverse as the rest of the campus itself. It's not intentional. It's just, the again, the current stigma around fraternities. We should make more of an effort to kind of integrate people into what the fraternity or sorority can be about. How do you make it less what? You said more inclusive? Yeah. I guess talk about it, right? And just keep fighting. Mm -hmm. Cause like eventually we'll find the answer. Yeah, I mean you have PSP, the National Honors Fraternity. One of the main tenets is inclusive, inclusivity, exactly. so. Yeah, definitely. We actually saw like this one Greek, it was a black like sorority and she wasn't black and we're like, okay, girl. We were like, okay, girl, like you do that. Hey. And it's like a lot of people just like cross culture it. It's kind of mm -hmm. cool. Some friends we know have some people of color and some people of not color. It's kind of cool. Having people like come together with like just things that they're interested in, not just like the name of the frat and the sorority. I thought it was great to hear people's thoughts on this. And yeah, you can't blame people for choosing frats that are specifically for people like themselves but we are always looking to recruit people with different perspectives. With that said, I have one more question I asked people about the future of Greek life. And before that, I want to show you some party footage, show you kind of what that scene is like here. And keep in mind, this isn't associated with my fraternity or any groups on campus. First of all, I went to a birthday party for one of my friends. And then also every year, Syracuse has a concert called Block Party. I can't include the sound from this clip, but this is kind of what Block Party looks like. And the day leading up to Block Party is a big darty day where people kind of get out on the streets. It's a great opportunity for everybody to get together and have a good time. What do you see Greek life being in the next 10, 20, 30 years? I know our fraternity will still like be here and still be like mad active. In the next 10, 20 years, you could really see Greek life dying out in, in some universities. The purpose of this fraternity and why they started and why I joined was because they had a different like viewpoint on what fraternities are supposed to look like. I feel like up north, it's 
kind of been slowly progressively going less and less especially on this campus i mean if you look back 10 years ago there were like almost 20 houses on campus and now we have nine whether the school is just going to buy the houses like they've done in the past i see greek life in 10 to 20 years becoming more integrated i feel like there it won't be as strong as we progress just because i feel like our generation is very like anti-cult like when it comes to like fraternities and sorority because they're very much cult-like sometimes i don't know to be honest i think it'd go either way like it could either grow or just like be like demolished completely i think it'll be in the same spot uh, with a few changes, of course, like the things that the downsides that I've said. I think it keeps a traditional sense of the college experience. It'll honestly be like stronger. Uh, I think it'll just be like a little more diverse and like progressive. I think that a lot more frats around the country and the world are going to start to try to help the greater community instead of just us. I feel like more diverse and also having more frats and Greeks like connect with each other, like work together more. I feel like they're some of them are like very separate and like I feel like in 10 years they'll be like more working together like creating like projects or like just events more together. Probably the same but way more diverse and probably way more like I think I want to say way more popping because I really think it is still popping right now but I think way more like lit like I feel like Greek would be so much lit maybe more closer mm -hmm. probably because it's gonna be like us if you think about it just our kids and generations. For me personally, being in a frat has been one of the best decisions I've made for meeting new people in college, having a good time. I've made some of my best friends and also made connections that I'm sure will help me down the line. But as myself and others have reiterated throughout this video, fraternities are an old institution. And if we want them to thrive, they need to adapt to the changing world around us. I really look forward to the future of Greek life here at Syracuse and across the US. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and helps me make more videos like this one. Finding my best friends on a, on a big campus. I picture these guys that are in this house spending pretty much the rest of my life with and hopefully, you know, as one of our friends here always says, you know, inviting these people to your wedding and stuff like that for sure.